author, playwright, mother tongue advocate, academic, decolonization activist, and post-colonial theorist, Ngugi Wationgo. Ngugi Wationgo was born James Ngugi in 1938 during a time when colonial rule was squeezing the last bit of life from Kenya, a time of change. This backdrop played a critical role in Ngugi's literature. His first recognizable work and debut novel, Weep Not Child, acknowledges Nigerian author Chinua Achebe as advisory editor. This happened after Ngugi met Achebe at a writer's summit and subsequently asked the Nigerian writer to check his first scripts. During his time as an academic in his home country, Kenya, he was instrumental in changing the direction taken by tertiary institutions where they decided that African literature should be the center of focus in university literature departments instead of European literature. Later, he abandoned writing in English, deserted Christianity, and changed his name to Ngugi Wationgo, stressing the importance of preserving African languages and identity through literature, amongst other things. He chose to write in his native Kikuyu, one of Kenya's indigenous languages. Since then, Ngugi has never looked back, cementing his stature as an academic, critic, philosopher, and a thorn on the side of the Kenyan government of the 1970s, which ended up convicting the author in 1977 after his play, Ngaahika the Enda, I Will Marry When I Want, and Settle the Regime of the Time. He was detained in a maximum security prison for over a year without trial. Being detained didn't deter him from his passion. In fact, it spurred him to write the critically acclaimed novel, Devil on the Cross, which paints a picture of post-colonial Kenya and the desire for imperialism. According to Ngugi's account, he took a decision to write exclusively in his mother tongue, Gikuyu, whilst in prison. Devil on the Cross was written on toilet paper during his time of serving sentence at Kamiti Maximum Security Prison in Nairobi. After coming out of prison, he was forced to go on exile in 1982, only to return to Kenya in 2004. His time in exile was spent lecturing in England and later the US, where he was professor at New York University and University of California. One of his well-received scholarly works is Decolonizing the Mind, the Politics of Language in African Literature, which is a collection of essays where he argues the role of language and its importance in history, culture, and identity. Among his accolades, the Lotus Prize for Literature, Park Kyung Ni Prize, 2019 Premi International de Catalunya Award, for his courageous work and advocacy for African languages, and a number of honorary doctorates. On a visit to the city currently known as East London in the Eastern Cape, South Africa, he commented, You need to do something about the name of this city and its streets. You need to take all those names, put them in an envelope, and write Return to Sender. In a recent interview, Nguki reflects, the problem with Africa is that the whole intellectual community operates within European languages. The entire intellectual production of ideas is in foreign or European languages. Yet the majority of working African people speak African languages. He has over 30 published books and continues to lecture at the University of California. Language as a culture is the collective memory bank of a people's experience in history.